Uh, your thoughts on this? Uh, obviously disappointed by going home, but just in general. I mean, uh, in, in general, uh, this is some of the most fun basketball I've ever played. Uh, I had some of the most joy playing with these guys. Uh, you know, coming here, uh, the world expected us to just fall flat on our face and not be a contender and not win games and just kind of be one of those games that are uh, easy ones for people and opponents. Uh, but we didn't do that at all. And we heard the talk. And we came out here and we, uh, I hope we made our country proud of the way we were able to compete, uh, the way we fought. And I think the biggest word is the way we made our country believe. What's the best thing you're going to take home from this experience with Dominican Republic? You know, just um, remind me how fun it was when I was playing when I was young. You know, um, things was different when I was here 13 years ago playing with this country, playing for my country, for our country. Um, it was a different situation for me. I was a bench player. I got no minutes. But I was always cheering so hard because I had so much pride putting this jersey on and whatever the warm-ups because I never really got to see my jersey. But this was a different situation for me. You never know what it entails. You never know how it's going to go. But um, I'm just so blessed and honored that my mother gave birth to me and gave me a bloodline and a culture that I can't be beat. And be able to put this crest and this name on my chest. Uh, it meant the world for me as a basketball player, but more as a son. I love my mother to, to death. And I'm just happy that I got a chance to uh, uh, give her the best seat in the house playing for her country. So uh, I'm blessed. I keep my head up. This hurts, obviously, as you see, but Dominican Republic means the world to me. So. It's not the last time. Uh, it's just a uh, goodbye for now. Now, what do you think about the team, Dominican Republic? Did you finally? I think that this team did something uh, special. I think that this team was told they weren't going to be anything here, and we did something that uh, everyone didn't expect us to do. I think that we made the little boys and girls home, back home proud. I think we gave them a chance to see that we could be a top team in the country because we already are. Uh, I'm in the world. That, uh, we brought a lot of happiness to a lot of families back home and I think um, that's the beauty of basketball and sports is that uh, no matter what country what country you're from whether it be from China Japan USA Serbia Slovenia or Dominican Republic uh, we all speak one language and that's what's the beauty about sports there's, not, there's very 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 few things in the world that has a universal language and basketball is one of them. Um, I'm blessed to have known these guys. I'm so honored and proud of every single guy that we have here. Not only the people who played in the World Cup, but the people who were with our team before we got here. I think it's a huge thank you to everybody. A huge thank you to our country, to the fans, to our, to our culture, to, to everyone who sent us love and support. Uh, to all the mothers who, like I said before, who've given us, who've given us life and gave us the bloodline to be able to play this sport and to be able to play for this amazing, the best country in the world. Obviously, in my opinion. Um, I hope we made everyone proud, and I, I feel that our this team will uh, did a lot of great things for a lot of great for a lot of people who needed it. That this experience was obviously more about something else than basketball for you, but do you think it will help you coming into the NBA season? For sure. Um, got an early start to playing basketball. Um, you know, you're playing the best players in the world. And I know I'm an NBA and I see NBA fans, they, they just don't know the players, so they think that from what I saw, plumbers, engineers, these, these are the best players in the entire world, put in one building, in one tournament. Uh, you may not know their names, but I could, I could guarantee you that if any of them stepped on the court of anybody, they could get the job done. Um, you know, the game is international. Uh, some of the best players now in the NBA obviously are all from international, so 
obviously the world is bigger than just America when you see the games in NBA. Uh, there's a lot of amazing basketball players that just don't get the chance to be one of the 450. Yeah. Good luck, bro. What do you think about Serbia? I mean, sh shooting 80, 88 percent of two pointers is pretty phenomenal. Hey, they, they earned this. They earned this uh, way to get to the next round. Um, they did a great job when they needed to. And uh, you know, shout out to them. I hope they all stay healthy. More importantly than anything, um, I'll be watching uh, this tournament closely. Uh, it's been an amazing experience to be part of it. It's some of the most fun basketball I've ever had, so I'm really excited to uh, really excited to be able to uh, have this this team and the pictures and the moments uh, with me at the house and blowing up and be able to always celebrate this moment. And Carl, can we hope to see you in the Olympic qualifiers next year? I'm gonna just take this right now as it goes. Um, obviously, I, I don't want to make any promises, but obviously, it's in my mind to do. Life is crazy. I didn't expect to tear my calf last year, so oh yeah, we'll just take it day by day. But uh, all I know is that uh, my our country, my mother's country, and his team is always on my mind. So uh, just see how it goes.